welcome back to my channel. This is such an exciting video because this is my top 30 video for the Nick's Face Awards New Zealand 2018. Um, yes, that's right. If you didn't know, I got into the Nick's Face Awards and this is my top 30 video. Um, our theme was Mother Nature, so I decided to do something like really crazy. This is inspired by like the ocean, um, shells, especially things like the trumpet shell, I think that's what it's called, and the kinna. So I've been looking at a real kinna for reference. Um, I just made everything blue because obviously like the sky and the sea and stuff is blue so I was inspired by all of that good stuff. I think this is the best look that I've ever done. Like I really pushed myself and this look took me five hours to do. This headpiece took me like six hours to make. I just got kebab skewers and I just cut them to different sizes um, and then I spray painted it white um, and then I hot glue gunned all these shells and crystals on. So voting goes live on May the 9th so please vote for me and you can vote every day till May the 13th so that's five days and if you guys vote for me every day for five days that would mean the absolute world to me. I'll leave the link down below where you can vote. So you can vote three times a day. You can select like three votes at once. You just scroll down to my picture and click vote. All you need is an email address. If you haven't already, just follow me on Instagram and I'll remind you guys when to vote. Um, by the way, it goes into the top 15, then there's the top six, and then there is the winner. And the winner wins $10,000, a trip to LA, and also a year's worth of NYX cosmetics. So the prize would be absolutely insane. I will never get that far, but just getting into the next round would be so amazing. So remember, I've got that link down below in the description. Please go and click on it and vote for me from May the 9th onwards. It would mean the world to me. So I hope you guys like this Mother Nature look. If you want to know how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So First I'm taking the NYX Primal Colors eyeshadow in hot blue and this blending brush and I'm blending this all into my crease and I'm making sure to take it right in the inner corner and on the outer corner and also blend it underneath. Then I'm taking the NYX Eyebrow Pencil and I'm just filling in my brows with this. It doesn't need to be perfect because I'm going to be putting black on top later. And now I'm taking the NYX Water Palette in this light blue shade and this brush and I'm putting it in the center of my eyes. Now I'm taking this dark blue colour and I'm putting this in the outer corner of my eye and on the inner corner of my eye. And this is how to create a halo effect. Now I'm taking this light green colour and I'm putting it in the middle of my eyelid. Now I'm taking this NYX Primal Colours eyeshadow in black and I'm putting this on the outer corner and underneath and I'm also putting it on the inner corner as well. And now I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and I'm putting this on my waterline and on my tight line. Now I'm taking the NYX Liquid Liner in Black and I'm just lining my upper lash line with this. Then I'm also creating a point on the inner corner to really elongate my eyes. Now I'm taking some liquid latex and I'm laying this on top of my cheekbone and then I take some toilet tissue, rip it to size and then put latex on top of this and do two layers um, and you want to finish off with liquid latex on top and you want to wait for that to dry. I used a blow dryer and it should look like this. Now you want to take some little nail scissors and make three little holes. Um, you just want to snip a little area, slowly slice up and then open it wide with your fingers. And this is where our trumpet shells will be going. So I made this with liquid latex and toilet tissue. I just stuck the shells on top and put um, this latex and tissue on the bottom it was quite easy to make and then I cut it to size and what I did is swirl it around into the hole to make it fit and I put liquid latex um, on the bottom of it so they would stick really well in there um, and now I'm taking that Primal Colors Hot Blue Shadow and this NYX Kabuki brush and I'm putting this all over my face now I'm taking that water palette again in that green color and I'm putting this in random areas of my face and I also take the NYX blush and I'm putting this in random areas as well. I just wanted to match my headband and my headband had a lot of like pinks and blues um, and green shells in it. 
Now I'm taking this NYX single shadow and this is a purple color and I'm putting this in random areas of my face as well. I wanted my face to kind of look like the ocean. Now I'm taking this blue shade and I'm putting this all around my forehead line where you'd normally bronze your skin. So I'm putting this on my cheekbones as well and all the way around the perimeter of my face. You want to go over this a few times to make the um, color really pigmented. And now you want to take some blue paint. I just mix some blue and white together to make the perfect color. And I'm kind of stippling this on top of that latex and around those trumpet shells. Um, so I want to make it look like that they're really coming out of my skin. And this helps to hide the liquid latex and toilet tissue. I now get that hot blue eyeshadow again and contour my nose with it. Now I'm putting some of this on my cupid's bow to really define that area. Now on to the kind of shell pattern. So I'm just doing little lines, thick lines going from the middle of my forehead and up. This doesn't have to look perfect because the dots and the lines will be the star of the show, but I'm just literally swiping this on with a small brush. And then I take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk, and then I do dots from smallest to biggest um, up those lines. And now I'm taking the NYX liquid liner in white and I'm putting little dots in all those circles just to make them look a bit more defined. And then what I do is take um, that black eyeshadow and put this in my eyebrows because I wanted my eyebrows to be a bit darker. Now I'm taking that purple eyeshadow I used earlier on the face and I'm blending this in next to the blue as well just to give it some more dimension and add some more detail. Now I'm taking that white liquid liner and I'm drawing lines in between all of the dots that I just drew. Now I'm putting dots all around the face. This can just be anywhere, but I decided to put it all around that liquid latex just to kind of give it some texture and I put it underneath my eyebrows. And then what I did here is took some glue and some blue glitter and put it underneath my eyes. Now I'm taking the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks and I'm putting that on my lips and I made like an ombre effect. First I put on the dark blue, then the light blue in the center and blend it out with a brush. And then I take that liquid liner again in white and I just put dots all around my mouth and up my cheekbones and I also drew some circles underneath my eyes with it. I also put some dots in between my eyes and I just add dots anywhere really and I add on some sequins and some diamonds and some pearls on my face like on my mouth, up my cheekbones, up my forehead and I also put on some fake eyelashes. Now I do the same thing that I did on my face to my shoulders so you want to put the liquid latex down then toilet tissue then liquid latex again do two layers cut little holes and open them up with your hands and then stick in your shells. You can see how I did it here. I just stuck it in the hole and swirled it around so it fit really well. And now I'm taking that kabuki brush with that hot blue eyeshadow and filling up my whole chest and neck. It took such a long time so I had to cut it short. Um, and now I'm taking that blue paint and stippling it over that latex and tissue. And then I decided to paint my body because the eyeshadow um, wasn't going on harsh enough. I really want it to be quite dark. And now I'm looking at a real kinner. Um, because I'm going to do a kinner on my chest. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. I've never really like drawn pictures on my body before so I just really tried my best. I just used blue and made a circle and then just added some purples and greens and then I did the same kind of effect to my forehead but on my chest in a circle. So I'm just adding liquid liner and then just adding some dots and some shadows by using black and then I just put dark blue around the kinner to make it really look like it's popping out of my chest. Um, and I just added some black for dimension. And then what I did is stuck on liquid latex and stuck on some diamonds. And that's how I stuck on the pearls and diamonds on my face as well. I used liquid latex because it just helps it to stick really well. I also added a few dots um, to add some detail with the liquid liner. Now I grabbed some white paint and a small paintbrush and I just did lines coming out from the kinner as if it was like shining bright or something.
And then what I did was I lined crystals all, um, probably every second line on my chest and I used liquid latex to stick them all down. And then I took some hot blue shadow and did that in between the lines and out from the kinna to add dimension. And then I used some black liquid liner to draw inside the kinna to add some detail. Now I'm putting on this wig. This just really makes up the look um, and just adds some volume. So I just put that on and clip it in nicely till it fit well. And then I took the two sides and tied it back um, just to make it look a bit more real. And then I'm gonna put in some contacts. Now this really does the whole look, I reckon, and it makes it look really creepy. Now I'm putting on the headband that I made and voila, here is the finished look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click on that voting link down below if you think I deserve to get into the top 15. Remember you can vote three times a day, every day from May the 9th to May the 13th. Um, and follow me on Instagram, I'll give you reminders on when to vote. Um, but your support would mean the absolute world to me and I can't get into the next round without your help. So I want to say thank you to NYX Cosmetics and all of our sponsors for making the NYX Face Awards happen. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love yous!